Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Hope you're doing amazing. Welcome. Welcome back. I'm Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. And today we start like this with earth walking this gorgeous brown orange ground <laughs> and i'm here you know because i came for a dog with um, a walk with my dog and i thought look i need to be protected because it's raining today obviously i'm wearing my wellies as you can see and look at this i'm in paradise land look look what is protecting me look at that wow tree land i love i love where I live. I'm very blessed to be here. And there is my dog. Hey! <laughs> She's matching the environment, you know? Her color is matching the environment. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, you know, area for walks. And I thought, let's start here. Because I am blessed. The topic today will be what are the blessings that you will receive? We all love black. There are two topics that people like. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I mean, this is, a, this is what I have been seeing. There are two things that people really enjoy. One, it thinks about unexpected, you know, what you don't see coming. Anything that, you know, you need to find out. And the other thing is positive news. A blessing, a surprise, uh, you know, all of those. And, you know, it's very interesting because it's like, um, sometimes I'm thinking I need to change the topics. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, I want to bring something different, no? And when I bring something di different, there is not so much uh, interest. So I respect, the, let's say, the, the collective consciousness, okay? I respect that. So for now, for now and I go a little bit more wild when I am in uh, in my pattern because then you know it's a little bit more um, you know um, the, the I mean the talented souls that are on pattern they want really deep uh, spiritual topics and uh, and uh, I love that so we go a little bit more you know beyond the general consciousness when we are uh, you know doing readings in, in the pattern no so I invite you, all of you, to be, become a patron, of course. <laughs> I would love to have you all there. Eh? Let's see how my, our, you know, my intuition is challenged um, when, uh, when that becomes bigger and bigger. I love that. I love to be challenged, to be honest. I love... Ah, I was thinking this morning. I love... I don't know it all. I learn it all. And that is what I always look after. Learning, understanding. And that's why today we're talking about blessings. Why? Because my learning is that you love this topic. So let's go for it. <laughs> Bottom line as a summary. Okay. So what are the blessings that are coming your way? Okay. Uh, and uh, again, March is a very high vibe month every astrologer is saying that uh, and also my colleagues here that march is high vibe march is a very very pivotal month during 2023 so let's make the most of it okay and thank you for joining me on this walk i'm just walking everywhere wondering i don't know where i'm where i'm going but i'm going somewhere <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I love you all. And thank you for all the comments. I read them all. Truly. Read them all. It's a big task. And I love it. Okay. See you in a minute. i show you the pies. And because obviously we have a very much an orange uh, brown color. The theme for today will be brown, orange. Probably red. I love you. Thank you so much. See you in a minute. Bye bye. Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Hope you're doing amazing. Welcome, welcome back. If you're new, bienvenido, welcome. 
Bienvenida. <laughs> I am Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. Oh yes, we are here to ignite the world. Okay, that's why I always have a fire there. And today we have a flame, which is this rose quartz flame, which is beautiful, beautiful. It's also a very common shape on, uh, on uh, crystals is the flame, of course. They carry the power of the fire and the earth. Okay, I'm starting to be philosophic. <laughs> Today's topic, we have three options and I put this gorgeous incense, smacks, you know, to clean, to, you know, bring good vibes to any room in your house, in your life, okay? And I love them, they're handmade. Um, and uh, basically we have uh, three options, as I said, and I will show you, I have this on my shop, on my Etsy shop, Today, this will be charged, you know, with the energy of the reading. So if you want to purchase, uh, obviously I will, uh, let's say, keep it charged for a week. Normally it's a week, you know, the week after when I change the topic, then this, this become, you know, I clean them. How I clean them with other like these ones. I have mine, of course, there, and then we clean it. And uh, sometimes, you know, I put everything out uh, with the full moon or the new moon, either way. Okay, so I went into uh, sideways there, but uh, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you so, so much for all the love. Thank you for the love. I honestly, you ignite me. So option number one for the question, what are the blessings coming your way? Okay, um, blessings coming your way. Uh, I explained on the intro, you know, why this is a topic that everyone is interested. Uh, yes, you know, sometimes I'm trying to go sideways and do a topic that uh, is not that kind of, you know, let's say trendy and you don't get the traction. So sometimes it's a balance, you know, between uh, topics that everyone wants to hear because consciousness, we are all connected and we are all going in that direction. And sometimes it's a question of disrupting that. Okay, so... Anyway, the blessings coming your way, we have three options. Option number one is the um, smack that has lavender, eucalyptus, and, and white sage. A smell heaven. Honestly, a smell heaven. Oh, I love it. And your tarot is the uh, Shadowscape Tarot. I show you one card so you can take a look of the design, the full. Oh, well, I love the full. This deck is gorgeous. It's very popular, eh? Many tarot readers has this, this deck. There are decks that, you know, everyone has. That's one of them. Well, but no, I mean, I would say like 60% maybe. Not all. This is white sage and lavender alone, okay? This is for peace, for calmness, for obviously white sage is always about cleaning, and this is, well, we have a little bit of uh, <laughs> leaves everywhere, doesn't matter. And this is the Star Child Tarot, okay? And this is the first version of the Star Child Tarot. And we have the Ace of Cups. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, oh my God. These are obviously very high vibes on, on Star Seed energy, you know? I love it. Okay. Option number three is this uh, white sage with, uh, you know, roses. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. It smells amazing. And this is the star child, also the egg, but this is the second version. <gasps> the Ace of Cups again! My God! My goodness me. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. A fool and two aces. Ha! Oh, this is not, this is going to be amazing. Okay, I'm getting excited. Okay, 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 okay. We need to go for it. And I put three because it's month three. And I get the vibes of the three today. Anyway, a fool, the full, the ace of cups and the ace of cups on the same te deck, but different, um, different editions. Oh, I cannot wait. Thank you so much. Comment, comment, comment. I read every single comment. Namaste. See you in a minute. Bye bye. Jesus, I forgot to say that I'm going to shuffle the oracle cards with you. I forgot. I forgot. I was too excited with the two aces. Very excited. Let's go for it. 
It's like a purple thing. This is the Lemurian deck. This will be the deck. This is one of the main uh, cards. Will be one of the main cards. Okay. It's all purple theme today. Although this one is pink and multicolor. Well, this is another deck that is gorgeous. It called it called the Secret Revolution Oracle. You got all the design. It's like a crazy design. I don't know the meaning of all the cards, but it's very feminine and it's very much ever towards uh, receiving energy. Okay, receiving. Um, this is a star seed. This is more like uh, the goddess inside of all of us. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. It's about goddess energy. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous deck. Okay. I have the booklet here because I never remember uh, in detail all the meanings. Of course, no. This is the one that my sister gave it to me. It's very earthy. It's called Earth Warriors Oracle. Of course, it's called Earth Warriors. <laughs> I was saying that it's very earthy and it's called Earth Warriors. I forgot. I also, I don't know all the meanings. So I have the booklet near. So these three cards, probably we need the booklets. Look, we have the Lemurian, the Earth Warriors and Enter the Mystery. So these are the three main cards for today. Okay, I also wanted to bring people into the mix. So this deck and this deck, which is the um, Kylie Gray from Hay House. Okay, he's a Scottish, um, uh, very handsome, by the way. He's <laughs> uh, a Scottish and he created these two decks and they, they, the image in these decks always reminds me people. So we're going to bring significant people into these uh, blessings, okay? Who are significant people? It could be people, God, I mean, I'm not going to try to channel guardian angels, no. I want real people today around your life, okay? That's what I'm going to try. But if someone is a guy, it's a guy, okay? I mean, you know how it is, eh? You, you want something and sometimes something else comes, okay? Uh, moonology, because it's always good to know science or it's always good to know time. And these are the cards that, uh, you know, that will give us the time for the blessing. The time for the blessing. Okay? This... <laughs> this is a final message because these cards are about light. Okay? And uh, I felt that this give uh, a lot of peaceful vibes. So this will be... The final message for today, okay? And last but not least, I put this tiny thing here, which is very cute. And it's called the uh, Antique of Magic Oracle. I wanted this one because this one is kind of, you know, it's kind of a magic deck, okay? So this is about the magic of these blessings. Let's put one, two, and three. Any, any final touch on that manifestation is coming with that one okay so that's how we go this is all the oracle cards mm, all the oracle cards ah you know like uh, who does this all the time is the gem goddess no uh, she's obviously i mean most probably you know her no uh, she does always like this That's remind me her. Maybe she's watching this video. Hello, Gem, Go Gem uh, Goddess. I like your channel. I like it. If you're here, welcome. I would love to, for you to watch my videos. And perhaps we can collaborate one day. Why not? Okay? And by the way, what you do to keep looking that, that young? <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, she looks amazing. Eh? She, the skin, everything. Ah, oh, gorgeous woman. Anyway, uh, see you in a minute. Okay? Maybe we get some tips for gorgeousness. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. Bye-bye. Right. See you in a minute. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number one with this beautiful lavender, eucalyptus, and white sage. Oh, it's my secret. Smag, uh, incense. 
you name it, you know, it's great for cleaning uh, your room, your bedroom, your place, your off, I mean, whatever space and yourself, okay? You have chosen the Eter Ethereal Vision Tarot. It's one of uh, the full again. Oh, and the Ace of, oh, God. Ace of Swords and the, uh, no, and Justice, one, 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 triple one. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Triple one. That's so strong, eh? It was the full. Uh, show it. Now it's Justice, 11 and 1. Triple one. You have seen triple one all the time, eh? Triple one is a significant number. Significant number. The ones. I like it. Okay. Let's go for it. Um, and if you're new, uh, well, I focus on igniting your talent. Why? Because you are going to ignite the world. <laughs> it's as simple as that. The main blessings that is coming your way. And these are significant people involved in these blessings. Okay. Um, this will be for the end because one is timing, one is a light message and one is like a magic message. These three are for the end. Okay, let's say start the people we are going to put it at the end. Uh, at the end. Okay, what are the blessings coming your way? Stepping through forty-seven. Ooh, age. People born also in seventy-four, nineteen seventy-four, and forty-seven, which in fact you may be. You may be. I oh know. Well, your birthday may be this year or to 47 or, you know, or you just, uh, you know, getting, um, you will be, no, if you are 74, you will be 49 this year. Correct? Yeah, 49. Stepping through. Look at that. It's like being reborn. You're coming out, out of a very difficult situation successfully. You are coming, you are stepping through, um, a, let's say, like a new portal, like a new opportunity. This is like an energy of, you know, going through on a small channel, okay? Having to uh, be a squeeze, but coming out like um, even brighter and better, okay? So you're being reborn. This is this is the after the drama. This is about um, you are going to make it through the difficult time. And I'm getting like you are already coming out. Okay? Coming out out of this difficult time. The blessing is like... Listen, I was watching Alice in Wonderland, no? So Alice in Wonderland take this potion to become tiny... And then she takes the post, she ate a cake to become bigger, no? And the dress goes small and big. And the whole thing about getting a small and getting big so she can uh, hide or she can cross the door, etc., etc. That's the energy I'm getting with this one. You have done all the necessary steps to get out of this situation. You have become a small, you have become big, you have become brave, you have, you have accepted. You know, you cannot win sometimes. You have accepted that sometimes you need to become stronger and win. You know, it's like that energy of I will do whatever is necessary to go through this. And then the blessing is that you get through. You get through. Okay? You have mastered this action of adaptation. You have mastered adaptation, I will say. And that is... Probably one of the key things to be happy in this in this uh, in this lifetime, no? Adapt the people that can adapt is people that uh, definitely will go through um, a much happier than the ones that cannot. It's like a Darwin law, no? Very interesting. Number eight, yes, look at this. This is the energy. Well, this is a card that is a snake there, but it looks like a sea. <laughs> eight also is um, is abundance. This is a goddess of fire. You know what I mean? This is about exactly what this is. Obviously, we have here uh, Egypt. 
which is, let's say, remembering remembering who you are and where you came from and uh, learning from the life of others, speaking your own truth. There is a black mouth here, a black lipstick. Maybe you like black lipstick or you wear black lipstick because I have seen some videos, you know, with people with black lipstick. It looks cool, okay? This is like a tiger. Reminds me, reminds me, um, remind me the song uh, from um, Katy Perry, Raw. I am the eye of the tiger. Fine, you know the kind of you know the energy on that song is her is she becoming fighting her fears. The tiger will represent her fears. She becomes stronger in front of him. You, the blessing is you are facing your fears. With what? With adaptation. Okay? If you see the threat, you have two options. To run away or to, or to face it. You are choosing... You're, you're playing with both. You're playing with both. You know when to hide. You know when to roll. You know when to become a small. You know when to become bigger. That is the blessing, adaptability, knowing exactly what to do in every single moment. I love this energy. Eh? Congratulations. Eh? Look at this. Wow, 22 is a master number. Yeah, you're mastering this. Eh? Leos, if you're a Leo or you have a Leo in your moon, uh, Leo in the North Node or Leo in uh, Saturn because, I don't know, I'm going to tell you what I, what I just got this, in, this, this idea. In Goyama, honor of the Asian king. Ooh, we're going to read this card because I don't know, but this is a, pow this is a powerful card. This is about you. No being a prey, being a leader, Living your own life in your own terms, okay? Uh, honoring your blueprint, which is the blueprint of a king. Meaning like, <laughs> you are the owner of your own kingdom. And your own kingdom is your skin. And your own kingdom is who you are. And you are honoring that. I love this. Okay, let's read on number 22. And I love because 22 is the master, now. You started this process last year in 22. And 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. My God, this is an 11. This is an 8, which is also a symbol of the infinite. And you have an infinite, let's say, uh, because the, the Egyptians believe in, inf in life beyond death. Okay, your soul has traveled. This is like a... An awakening of the truths of your life or past lives of the truth that you, the you know, collective consciousness. Okay, twenty two. Wow, this is beautiful. I knew this was going to be like a very spiritual reading. Honor the Asian king. I'm not going to read everything because this is very long. Okay. Okay. So healing process in the reading. Okay. This tarot, this oracle indicates awakening, yes, of course, and the healing and strengthening of divine masculine energy within the soul for taking the initiative and leading with wisdom. Healing mascul masculinity is relevant at both physical and psychological levels. To love and make peace with the masculine allows it to become dynamic and expressive of integrity, purpose, justice, and protection. Acknowledge your power. Do not play small. Conserve your energy. Get plenty of rest. But when the time is right, let your soul raw. Raw. The song from Katy Perry. And your true voice be heard without hesitation or fear. You are a protector and a leader of others. Allow your spiritual connection to awaken your courage and boldness. Refuse to be put down. Trust in the dignity and divinity within. Do you know what I mean? That's the message. That's the blessing. 
you know when you high, you know when you raw, you know when you become a small, you know when you become big. You play the game like no other. Okay? Why? Because you understand. Oh, and my phone was almost about to, to my video was almost about to fall. You understand that in life, sometimes we need to roll and face it to become the masters, to become the leaders. I love it. Significant people. Speak your truth, Archangel Gabriel. Oh, yes. Thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to uh, speak with integrity. This is an angel that is with you. This is not a person. I said that on, when I was shuffling the cards. This is your angel right now that is uh, protecting you and is guiding you. It's like you're going to share this truth to the world. The orange hair, a lot of you are a fire sign, I will say. Or the moon in a fire sign. She's dressed like an Egyptian, no? Okay, so you may have a ginger hair or a red hair. Um, you are going to speak your truth. Again, you're going to roll when you need to roll. Okay, you're going to speak up. No more hiding when you, when you don't... Don't need to hide. Lady Portia, divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. This is like... Um, this is like your best friend. Uh, uh, there is someone in your life that is playing... Uh, that is helping you to connect with your higher self. This is the best friend. There is a best friend here... Or different interventions done by friends or in a, in a very specific moments that are very awakening. So you're listening with your heart in every conversation and there are some connections that are helping you to awake this even more. This is about friends and you, you know, speaking your truth and sharing your, your truth. Okay, so this is a friend and this is you again in this, this same energy. Okay, what other, well, this one I want to come. What blessings are coming to my pine number one? Knight of Wands. They're going to happen very fast. Eh? This is happening as we speak. This is also, uh, they're speaking someone on a, on a lion. You see, fire is very strong uh, sign here. Of you taking action. You, you really going for the fight if you need to fight. Because you're ready, you're ready to, you're ready to, you're ready to defy, I mean, conquer, conquer this fear. At the end of the day, fear, there is no right or wrong. There is different perspectives. And you're going to, to fight for your perspective, for who you are. And it's no question of hurting others. And it's no question of making others feel small. It's not about that. It's about you being authentic to who you are. And that making you stronger. So you accepting as you are. Two of ones. Yeah. You know, this is a sign of, you know, is the right moment to embark. It's the right moment. Okay. You grabbing your tools, the duality between becoming, you know, hiding, becoming a smaller, becoming bigger. You know, the duality of this dynamic, the adaptability. Fire is very strong, as I said. Ten of cups. Oh, yes. You will achieve it all. Ten of Cups is a promise that by this mastering of this adaptability, by speaking your truth, you're going to fulfill happiness. You're going to feel full. For me, Ten of Cups is feeling full, emotionally full. The Eight of Cups... It's the balance between, you know, like, this is this is what we struggle the most. The Eight of Cups is about leaving the things that, you know, the Eight of Cups is about leaving things that doesn't serve us, no? It's about walking away. Again, it's the dynamic be between walking in and walking out. If those cups doesn't serve you, go for the cup that serves you. You follow me? Even if you have to lose seven, you go with one. You will achieve ten. You will find ten somewhere, somehow. Because she's following the cup, but she's finding the fishes. You see? Is that dynamic? Sometimes less is more. 
There is a divine order. You're following your own cup, I'm telling you. It's about being authentic. It's about being uh, facing your fears, understanding the adaptability between uh, fighting and not fighting, and fighting in a sense of defending. No, defending, no. That's not the key word. Um, accepting who you are and not giving a F about others not liking you because it's, it's reality. There will be people that love you. There will be people that don't love you. You know, we're not meant for everyone. Okay? So this is about truly, truly, truly being authentic about who you want to be and who you want to become and adapting uh, very well. Three of Pentacles. Wow, this is very good. Great partnerships coming. The right people will be with you. The right people will support you. This is someone holding another person. The right people will come to you the right people will come to you, the friends, the right friends, the Ten of Cups, the emotional abundance, the building something better. If you share your truth, if you share this information to the, I mean, how you adapted to this situation, there is opportunity there to make money out of this truth, you know, to make money out of your experience. That's what I'm trying to tell. Okay, this is gorgeous. Okay, any information about timing? Last quarter moon in Virgo. Attend to the details. Virgo season. Virgo season feels like a long way. I'm getting that this is more like a, a confirmation because this for me is happening right now. Although Virgo start in the month 8 and we have double 8 here. Okay, so that may be significant. A Virgo season, which is uh, between August and September. Hmm? For me, for this partnership or for this abundance to come, because you are already mastering this already from my point of view. Another eight, 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 eight. There is abundance in sharing this story. There is clearly abundance. Um, you do meditation, of course. You're someone that is truly connected with your heart. That's the message here. You you win because you connect with your heart. And the last magic card. Han, reciprocity. Yes. When you give, you receive. Look at that. There are two people here. There are two hands here. And there are different hands. There is two people, two uh, people here. There is a number two here. There are two... Two amazing friends here, honestly. So I'm getting that you are going to find, you are going to find in this process true connections, connections that really align to who you are. And you're going to inspire others to follow you. That's reciprocity. That's people following you. People giving you a hand as well. Here he's helping this, this girl, this person is helping you, okay? So you accept, although you're mastering this, you accept that you have done, you have not done this alone, okay? It's like, it's like knowing that when you need help, you can ask for it and you will get it. That's also very important. Wow. And with that, you know, I truly enjoy this reading. This is the blessing coming your way. It's adaptability, it's support, it's people going, following you. It's an opportunity to share your story, to be abundant uh, in this process. And um, I uh, congratulate you for doing this, for following your heart, for that raw, the camera of nowhere, but it's truly powerful in you. And uh, I would love to have you in Patreon. I would love to, um, you know, I do additional pick a card readings there. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. If you want this, you can check on my Etsy shop, first come, first serve. Uh, you just need, uh, well, the first person that buy it, it will go into them. And uh, thank you so much for all the love, the support to the channel, and for letting me ignite your talent for you to ignite the world. Namaste. Till the next time. Bye-bye. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number two, and this gorgeous is lavender with white sage. Oh, it smells so beautiful. Ah, it has some roses too. Ah, it has some roses, petal rose as well. 
Okay, I forgot. This is your reading. You put the lavender there. Okay, <laughs> you have chosen also the Star Seed Tarot. And we're going to check what are the blessings coming your way. Blessings coming your way. And thank you so much for being here. If you're new, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. I am Luna. And I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. I'm going there in the stars. That means do what you love. This is message for the end. And this is the main message of your reading about the blessings. And the, here is two very significant people, part of this blessing. We don't achieve things alone. We are always, you know, connected some way, somehow. Okay, let's go for it. Option number two. 15. Ooh, look at this. Well, these cards are gorgeous, okay? They, they I mean, the, the meaning, it could, there's two million meanings in one card. You know what I mean? There is a planet there with a tree. I mean, there is a, a parrot, snakes, diamonds, butterflies, third eye crystals, third eye planets, feathers. I mean, it's busy times, I'm telling you. You are in such a creative energy. So your creative energy is going to go like freaking crazy, like the devil, because the 15 always reminds me of the devil, which is a six. But don't, don't take it like as a brawn, uh, as a, let's say, as a bad car. Take it more like maybe you're a Capricorn or maybe you are, um, I say, in a moment that your creativity is going to go like, wow, exponential. Exponent. This is a kind of abundance of creativity. I, I, I see this like clearly. Also, we see a feel of gold. Oh, that reminds me of the sun. Oh, from Estin. Do you remember the desert, desert rose? Maybe you love that song and you love Estin. Listen to that song. You remember me. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. To, oh, no, I don't know the lyrics, but that song, maybe you are singing, you are a singer, huh? or you do music. Anyway, creativity, 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 creativity. I cannot tell you how, how much boost you have as a blessing. This is a blessing because creativity sometimes, listen, if you're not in the flow, you cannot create, no? So this is about being really on the flow of, cre of creating, 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 creating. A lot. Healing. Wow. And it's a healing process, of course. Sometimes, you know, I mean, I'm look at the colors. Look at the colors. The multiplicity of colors. Look at that. 30 is a significant age. Or oh, you are 30 right now. This is a healing process. That's why all this creative is flowing, because you are healing through this process. The colors are all aligned. You are healing through this creativity spur. It's like a growth spur in kids. This is what you're having right now, a creativity spur. I hope I pronounce that well. And it's very healing. And well, 12. Capricorn, again, I'm thinking in Capricorns a lot. Uh, Amuata, sage of higher knowledge. Yes, access, access to your higher self, access to your higher knowing. Uh, 20, 21, also significant number, or 21st, 15, also is a date of birth. 51, people also born in 51. Um, but here is like... Uh, Wow, she has a rainbow in the head and the feathers. We have feathers and feathers. Feathers are significant because we have two birds. So a lot of, maybe a lot of you in this pile, your talent is with your voice. Hmm? And the lyrics are coming, the art is coming, the abundance is coming, the everything, everything. And this is like uh, closing the eyes because this is connected with the higher self where this person is, is connected to earth and doing the stuff 
This one is connected with the higher self, so even in your dreams you get ideas. This is a healing process. Look, the rainbow head, the rainbow healing, and this colorful rainbow, because it has all the colors of the rainbow, honestly. You are growing. You are planting your seed into the world and it's going to grow like a big tree. Your wisdom, your higher self, you, I mean, you're in the flow. You are in the flow. That's the blessing. The blessing is this spur of growth to your creativity, your connection with your higher self, your connection with your purpose, your, 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 your gift to the world. Okay? Wow. Honor your feelings, Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. Honestly, this is music. A lot of you are into music because this remind me, Tini from Argentina, she has the same face. Come on. And also remind me, um, um, Carol G, because she wears uh, for a long time the, the blue hair. Or you have a coach that she's the best coach. This is also a kind of, of a coach, a boys coach, maybe for a lot of you, or someone that is your idol and you're trying to get into the same energy or the same kind of, uh, you also reminds me Anita. There's a lot of Latin vibes here as well, I will say. Oh, but you're, fi you're fine of, I don't know. This is a lot of you are following the steps of someone that is very famous, but also a lot of you really are uh, stepping into, yeah, into this creativity, into, you know, your brighting. Oh, this reminds me also, I'm thinking all these girls. Um, uh, ah, forgot the name. Um, the sunflowers. I got mamas of flowers. It's a lapse. It's, my mind went black. Okay. Um, this is your personality on a stage. You see? You come across like a mermaid. Like, uh, like uh, also like, uh, you know, someone that is going to fly. Uh, this also reminds me, uh, all of them. Uh, well, I forgot. Forgot the names. Sorry. Up to there. I cannot... I cannot dig in anymore. But the, the girl that uh, from Moulin Rouge, she sings this song, but she used to be blonde for a very long time. Um, I got like, my mind. Honestly, it's, it's like, well, yeah, this is what happened to you before. Your mind was blocked. Your mind was stuck. Now it's flowing and flowing and flowing. Flowing, 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 flowing. And you cannot believe it how much lyrics or how much creativity or how much things are going to come to you. And this is a coach and this is someone that inspires you. Oh yes, divine alchemy. Holy amethyst. Amethyst also is a connection with your higher self. Move beyond current challenge. Focus on what you desire. Yes, forget about the rest. Go, go, go for it. This is your idol or, or a coach or someone that is near you, someone you admire. And this is... This is, well, some of you are coming from India, I would say. Mm? Some of you are coming from India because this image or has an Arabic background or you wear a bell, some of you. Although I will be very surprised, you know, I don't know if, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to say something uh, incorrect. But uh, Dubai comes, rings a bell as well. I don't know why. Dubai. Arabic countries, you know, Abu Dhabi, all of those. The main thing is you're going to be in front of, yeah, you're going to be next in a next stage, in cameras, in front of cameras. You're going to be, you do that. Okay, this creativity is going to put you in a, in a show position. This is who you admire and this is who you're going to become. You will be unique. It's not, you. Ha we have the third eye. They say highlighted three times. No, four times. Look at that. Four times third eye. Wow. And it's green here because you're following your heart. Also green is money. And here is the amethyst with a higher self. 
you are in complete flow with your heart and with your higher self. And that, that translates into this plane as creativity. This is you in front of the stage with your uniqueness, okay? And this is your idol, so someone that you follow or a mentor that is helping you. That is successful as well. Also, I get a message that you need to honor your uh, roots. Honor your root and your origins, okay? Your culture. Four of Wands. Oh, yes, baby. Signing contracts. The fourth one is the marriage card. In your case, it's contracts. An empire. A lot of opportunities. A lot of opportunity. Very solid. Four is a very solid number. Nine of Swords. The block. I told you. I got very stressed when I couldn't remember the names of all these act uh, singers. No, 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 and forget about it. I cannot even remember. Nine of Swords, this is the energy that you're leaving behind. It's healing with this card. Okay? It's healing. I'm trying to remember the names and I can't. <laughs> Nine of Crystals. Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords, the Nine Mares are translated into a flow. Flow of abundance. Nine is also individual success. So again, you are your own success. You are the money, meaning that you are the one that has the sons, the sins, you know, those are individual individuals that are successful, no? From a nine of swords to a nine of crystals, the blockage are out. You're healing your blockage. You're starting to flow with your talent. Eight of Wands, wow, it's going to happen really, really fast, really, really fast. A four and an eight, four plus four equal eight. We have the four here plus four here, collaborations, partnerships, you know? Many, many, many people that is creative work with others and it multiplies, it multiplies the abundance. That's what, that's coming. Crazy partnerships, maybe with your mentor is working on finding you people who to work with or to, to work together as well. And the two of swords. Oh, I love these two of swords. Clarity, clarity of purpose, clarity uh, of goals, determination. Nothing is stopping you. This is a two of swords that has the eyes wide open. The eyes are in, in the heart is blooming with light. And the source one is down and one is up. It's like, uh, I'm ready, bring it on. I'm not confused anymore. My creativity is overflowing okay that's a very unique two of source also partnership the two talks about partnership the nine talks about individual and uh, it multiplies you know i love it eh oh the flowers unconditional this person here is unconditional supporting you and unconditional is your commitment to make this work to put your talent out. There is a lot of healing not only for you, for others. I mean, come on, the sons of uh, Shakira now, uh, let's say like this lady that I forgot the name uh, that sings flowers and for, I'm so sorry about it because she's super famous, but I completely forgot. Okay, well, she is unconditional to her own voice, unconditional to who she is. And they're very healing in this music, healing in this art. And flowers is always remember people throwing flowers on the on a show. <gasps> nine, the soul journey, yes. Oh yes, nine, nine, and nine. You are going to finish this work. You are going to find that piece that make you successful. Wow. You understand that it's a journey, but you're going to make the most of this flow. Okay, and last one is some kind of time or something significant. Capricorn, I'm telling you, I saw Capricorn before, I told you, no? I saw Capricorn, yes, the 12th and the 15th with, the, with the, the devil, no? Which is the card of the Capricorn. If you're not a Capricorn, we're so, so close. Maybe you have a, a rising Capricorn, a moon, Venus, Mars, North, North. Leave the past behind. Yeah, the blockers are over, I'm, I'm telling you. The blockage are over. You are stepping into your journey to glory, journey to success, journey to the nine of crystals, 
Journey that's multiplied with collaboration with others. The clarity is there. You know what you're going to talk about. You know what you're going to write about. You know what you're going to create. You know exactly because you're fully connected with your higher self. And you're go going to come out as you truly are. Okay? As you truly are. This is a unique character. And uh, amethyst will help you. You need to wear amethyst. This is a pink amethyst. Very relevant for you, a pink amethyst. And sorry for the noise. Let me, one second. I'm going to close the door. It's my door. Pink amethyst is a significant crystal for you, eh? Uh, wear a lot of pink and wear a lot of purple. Okay? And this remind me Ariana Grande as well. <laughs> Ariana Grande. <laughs> Honestly, she has a fair... I mean, this... Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, you know what I mean. I love it. I truly, truly love your reading. It's very clear message. That's your blessing coming your way. If you want this to clean everything around you, grab it. It is on my Etsy shop. Comment, 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 subscribe, 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 share, like, etc. Everything that you do to help the channel, uh, thank you so much and to help me to ignite more talent for us to ignite the world. I love you so much. Thank you for being here and become a patron as well. I forgot to say, yes, if you want more readings, be part of the tribe, you know, that, uh, you know, we select topics there that are a little bit more, let's say, uh, well, they're chosen by the patrons. I would love to have you there. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life. Namaste. Miley Cyrus, Miley Cyrus, Miley Cyrus. We love you. Bye-bye. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number three and this beautiful uh, white sage and rose um, snag or incense. Oh, this flower came off. Look how pretty it is, a rose, a tiny rose. We're going to leave it there. Okay, this is your reading. Your deck is the Star Child deck. Uh, second edition. Let's see. What blessings are coming your way? And if you're new, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. I'm Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love. Okay, you are, you've are chosen the one that has the pink flowers and this is very pinky. Okay, so what blessings are coming to you? Mm. Wow, I love it. Life force energy. Look at that. <laughs> Life force. <laughs> oh my God, you wanted to go to a gym? You can go to a gym every single seven days of the week. Eh? So much energy. 34 significant number, also 43. And life path um, seven. Year seven. This is your year. Life force energy. I don't need to explain, no? An influx of energy. I love it. That's a bless. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my God, this car. Look at this car. First time I see it. Number 20. 20 also significant. The date of birth. Wow. Something significant. This is very far ahead, no? But something crazy is going to happen in 2034. 11 years from now. 11 years from now, some of you are going to be... 11 years from now, some of you are going to be in a... Feeling like you're in a completely different planet. Honestly, that's what I'm getting. Okay, you will remember this reading. Look at this. This is an offering from the universe, eh? This is an offering. This is like... You know when the Mexicans do the offering uh, to the death? This is like an offering to your soul from the universe. It's like an offer, an offer of energy, an offer or an activation of some kind. I'm going to read this card because I don't know the meaning of everything, but this is an offering. This is like someone 
the universe is giving you something or someone is giving you something. Honestly. Let me see number 20. Wow. And look at the life force. Wow. Grey mother archetype. Bless water. Being in the flow. Ocean systems. The Nile. Water sphere. Patterns of water. Water cycling. The grey cosmic goon. Water element. Some of you are water. Look, she's in the water, no? She's healing in water. And this is water. So I'm telling you, some a lot of you have water energy. A water sign. Also, some of you live near the water. Or you need to live near the water. Yes, what I'm saying, in 11 years, you're in a house. Well, in a house in front of the sea. <laughs> you are in a completely different... Yeah, you will feel like you're in a different planet. A lot of you living by the beach. Um... I am the one who is invisible darkness, infinite space, and prime evil waters. I am holy water, spanning over 70% of our planet and inhabiting over 70% of our bodies. Yes, you are going to become mega abundant. There is an offer from the universe right now, honestly. There is an offer from the universe in a year in year 2023 that will unlock a gift that will unlock 11 years of abundance it's as big as that it's like a complete renovation it's like it's like it's like becoming younger 20 years becoming younger 10 years you know what i mean it's like a a complete Unlock is a gift of, of wealth. In, in, in wealth, you know, in every aspect. A physical, body, a spirit, material, etc., etc. The mother is the one that gives. You're going to receive. Look at that. Look at that. Honestly. Wow, 34 to 36 is two years. In two years, the next two years will make history in your life, okay? And by 2034 and 2036, you are in a different place that is radical to where you are right now. But the next two years, let's not go that far. I mean, I'm, I'm going far because uh, I see you in 11 years being a completely different person. But my main point is the next two years are revolutionary. You are going to receive everything that you want. She is a goddess with a rainbow hair. Look at that. It's called Mayu. Soma from the galactic heart. She has the heart of the universe. Your heart is beeping in sync like water. You are the most abundant element on earth. You represent water. You are becoming abundant. You are becoming wealthy on your body, on the life force. It's like your energy is manifesting everything that you want. It's kind of, I don't know, but it's, 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 it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming of abundance. I don't know how to explain. It's unbelievable. Okay, 36. It's the next two years, eh? Oh my god. Wow. The Divine Mother. Yes, this is the Mother Archetype. Milk of the galaxy is feeding your soul. An expansion of your horizons. Exactly what I'm saying. You, will, you won't see your life. Your life is changing radically. Okay? By 2025, you are no longer who you know you are, but you know who you are, but you're becoming something, you're manifesting. You're manifesting your soul. And your soul is far more abundant than you. Your, your soul is only growing. Let's put it away. Okay. An expansion of your horizon, your spiritual purpose, and your sacred responsibilities is taking place. The divine potential within you is awakening and a higher turn of the creative spiral of consciousness. 
This oracle is a prophecy of ascension and grace. Your soul has been going through a deep spiritual feeding process and is growing rapidly. I'm telling you, when the soul grows, the manifestation grows. Simple. The evidence of this is the outer world. Okay, I'm, I'm just not inventing, I'm just saying. No? Listen, sometimes I doubt myself that I know this truth. And then another spirit, the, the divine soul, is writing exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> the evidence of this is the outer world. Will be a sense of expanded opportunity, rich connection and spiritual experience. This oracle foretells the, welcom the welcoming of a new phase in life. Newborn energies and fertility, whether biological, creative or psychological, are being stimulated. The oracle indicates the discovery, develop an expression of talent, talented soul, an increasingly public profile, which moves you into the spotlight can help you fulfill your divine life mission, provided that you keep your inner connection to a spirit at the highest priority. The oracle speaks of soul healing around matters of trust, a spirit, mother, and abundance. My, my, my goodness me. Can't be that perfect, eh? It cannot be more perfect. I know what exactly this means. I hope you are hearing the message. This is... Okay, I tell you the phrase. I tell you the I tell you the mantra, and then you 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 I share my mantra, and you can do it yourself. Okay. Okay, I share, but I I do this first, and then I share my mantra. Ooh, change and transition, Archangel Azrael. Thank you, as as I, Azrael, for leading me safely through this change. Okay, it's a change, of course, and this is about. A lot of you finding, uh, finding, a lot of you are becoming younger, younger, younger in terms of, let's say, yeah, younger. Younger is like higher levels of energy, higher levels of connection with your body. You know what I mean? This is change and energy. This is people coming your way to help you, honestly. This is people coming your way to help you. The shake Nath, sacred self, unleash your spirit, express your gift, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Yeah, you're going to show your true self into the world. And these two look like a very similar, no? Soulmate. A lot of you are going to find your soulmate. Okay, this look like similar. Well, it's the same author, but different decks. And he has a, a phoenix in his chest, and she has a... She has, um, the peace, you know, like, uh, oh, oh, forgot the name, uh, Paloma, no Paloma, the Paloma and the Phoenix, look, you're made of the same, but you're different, okay, yes, a lot of you are meeting a soulmate, um, because, because, you, I mean, because there is, this is too big, this is, this is about evolution. As you evolve, you help others to evolve. That is what I'm, what I'm seeing here. Wow. Okay. Let's go. Let's see more. I tell you my mantra in the end. Three of crystals. Yes. You're going to really put your talents out make great partnerships, super successful. And three is this month. This month is the kickoff of everything. The Hierophant, oh yes, you are going to earn your wisdom. I mean, this is the Hierophant is the, is the priest, no? And uh, she carry the light of the world in this case. She carry also a necklace that is from Egypt. You are going to share this wisdom, okay? You're going to share this abundance so others can do the same. Evolve. Um, evolve the soul. Perspective. Wow, I love it. This is the hangman 
And this is about you helping, you, you have changed the way that you see life, literally. It's like looking at the past and looking at the future and you have find a middle point. There is a triangle because it's very sacred. And 12 again, Capricorn, or again number three, another three, which is the, maest, the master. We have three, three here, four, six is 10. Um, you are evolving. Your soul is evolving. As simple as that. This is about evolution. And that is reflected in more abundance externally. Because if you grow your spirit, your 70% made of water and made of emotion and made of, you know, let's say, of uh, abundant waters. If you grow that, okay, you become abundant in the outer world. And you know this. Wow, another Russian Arcana, this is oppression, which is the death card. Yeah. This is 12 and uh, in this card is 15. Look at that. It's 6. It's 15 in this card. So then it's the devil card. Sorry, it's not the death card. It's the devil card. You are you're manifesting an abundance that is unbelievable. And why? Because you don't focus on um, what is in the outer world. You focus what is in the inside. That's why we have this body covered in a in a cover. But she's managed. She's controlling earth, the the air, the crystals, the you know the the abundance. She's controlling everything from the inside. She doesn't need to see. She knows that everything is there. This is manifestation. The devil card, Capricorn again. I told you, twelve and Capricorn. My Capricorns are on fire. Or oh, anyone that has Capricorn in the chart is on fire, but you don't need to be. It could be an earth sign. Uh, this is Taurus with a hierophant. Okay. Main point is that you are, you are, because you change the way that you see your connection with the spirit and your soul. You understand that you have the energy of the life force that can receive what is inside. This is about hidden hiding the ego to manifest the soul and the last one six of one wow what is the six of one guys and girls the victory the complete complete success and victory and look at the face of this woman yes as above so below why we have two ladies here why we have two ladies here and one and one here Okay, so the hierophant, which is rich in spirituality, manifests the richness in earth. You see, it's the duality, it's the mirroring energy. What is inside manifests in the outside. That's why we have the 12, two women here. What you want to see, you want to see as who you were before, you want to see as who you want, you, you truly are. It's like, it's like, it's like understanding the, the, the balance between the inside and what is outside. It's like a complete mirroring on the inside to the outside. That's why it's so powerful. Because it's a manifestation of the soul and the soul is infinite and the soul is abundant and the soul is worth and the soul never dies and the soul is rich. Wow. And this is soulmate, honestly. Last quarter moon in Sagittarius, practice gratitude. Sagittarius is a fire sign. Some of you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius is just before uh, Capricorn. A moon in Sagittarius, some of you. Moon in Sagittarius. And be grateful. You know this. You know, it's all about being grateful. There is only light. <laughs> there is only light. And it's 30, number 30. Okay? 30 significant number. It's another three. We have three, three, four, three, six, and 30. Which what I'm thinking is the following. And this is a three as well. And six is multiply of... The, 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 the 15 and the 6, 6, 6, 3, 3, 
347, this is 9, plus 211. Okay, I don't know when to mess around, but reality is that maybe these are A, so you know. Um, you know everything I start inside. And there is only light. Those are the, this is the wisdom that you bring into this world. And the moon, of course, the moon. Of course. You know how to work with the moon. You know how to work with the moon. And the moon is the... The moon represents... The moon kind of influence the water, no? Hmm? You know, like in the sea, when it's, uh, the moon is uh, full moon, the sea, well, the waters. I mean, the waters, the seasons, everything connects with the moon. So you are going to use your learnings to influence the world to understand this. I'm thinking that there is a lot here about you producing in others the effect of the moon. Helping others to go to the cycles of beginning and endings. The rhythms of the water. That's what I'm getting with this moon card. And you, the moon also is manifestation. So you are manifesting this. Your soul, you know, your blessing is a manifestation based on the fact that you understand that the most important, the key to manifest is your soul and nothing else. And I tell you my mantra. My mantra is, I am the truth, because we're all real, no? So I'm the truth that bless the world. The example of love made unconditional. Light made infinite. Power made abundant. No. Power made absolute. <laughs> we all have power inside of us. And wealth made real. I am beyond walls, dimensions, spaces, uh, times, universe, the soul that evolves. Namaste. <laughs> Maybe you're going to hear that again. But it's very powerful because my mantra is, I, my soul always evolves. Okay? And if in that evolution is that the rest becomes real. And I love that. Namaste to that. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for the share. Thank you for checking out my Etsy shop. Thank you if you're interested in this. Thank you for becoming a patron. Thank you for being here as part of my of the Soul Tribe. Thank you for connecting with me. It is an honor to have you here. Okay? It is a pleasure to share this message with you. It is an honor. And what I wanted to share here is that you're going to receive this wisdom, no? And this knowledge and this gift. And look at all the eyes looking at you, okay? We saw this one also as a kind of being in the spotlight. You are going to share this and help others to achieve the same. Whatever the way. Namaste. Thank you so much. Have an amazing week, an amazing day. A day. Oh, look, I started the opposite. An amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life. Love you so much. Namaste.